Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to bake in Simpson Painter. All right, this is going to be straight to the point. Uh, there's no modeling process. There's nothing else. It's just uh, showing you, uh, you know, how to load the model, how to find, uh, you know, uh, where's the where's the, the the options for you to do the baking or the maps or what maps you're going to bake, all that kind of stuff. All right. I'm not going to explain anything in depth. I'm just going to go straight to the point to show you how to do it. All right. So uh, open, uh, you know, uh, Substance Training Painter and go to file over here, hit new. And we're going to select here whatever uh, document resolution do you want. And uh, then we're going, to, we're going to select the model, uh, the low poly. There you go. Select that and then hit OK. And then there you go. This is the model that we're going to be using here. I already have it. This is the one that we're going to. Well, this is the one I created the texture. So with the bakes and stuff in it. So now that we have this, there you go. It's entirely new. There's nothing here. So you need to find the uh, texture set. Uh, settings tab and go to mesh maps and you can see that it's totally empty right here there's nothing there and uh, we're gonna go to big mesh uh, maps click that and you're gonna have that this window right here select the resolution that we you want to bake to in this case I'm just gonna go with 2048 and then we're gonna we need to find where the high poly mesh is so let's go over here click that select it and you're gonna have it right here and since we only have one material right here you're gonna see that in case you have more uh, it's gonna show you like bake uh, select the textures or bake all the textures and anything like something like that but in this case you have only just one so just click bake textures bake holder the one you have right here and it's gonna run the through the process there you go done so this is pretty clean. I'm pretty sure there is some artifacts in the small crevices or whatever, like super tight over here and over here too. Uh, you know, you have to, sometimes you have to go to the process, go back and fix some stuff. And sometimes in the bake here, in this settings right here, you have to adjust something, some stuff right here to just to make it, you know, uh, to fix any artifacts that you have. But I'm not gonna cover any of that. I'm just gonna show you uh, what's going on and how to do the bake you know, uh, as simple as possible. Also, I forgot to mention something and I'm going to just delete this again here. I'm going to show you something. Let's say that you only want to bake uh, some specific maps. In this case, you will just activate or take them out from here. Like, let's say that I only want the, uh, the normal, the ID curvature, but I don't want the, uh, the position or the thickness. Just uncheck those same process, you know, you don't have to do anything else. Just select whatever it is. It's already there and just hit bake. And it's going to go through the process and it's going to skip the ones that you don't have selected. So there you go. All right. So if you go here, and you want to check out the maps, just go over here and just select the ones you want to check. Let's say, let's go with ID map. There's an ID map that I created just to isolate some parts of the model. Uh, curvature. This is how the curvature looks like. If you're using smart materials and stuff like that, some of them might need this information. So you need to bake, uh, you know, you, have, you need to have your your, uh, your maps. If you want to go back to regular, uh, you know, to, to the textures, just go pre press M is going to go to material. All right. So there you have it. All right. I'm going to load here the one and actually I did this thing. So you just go back to this one. Don't save that. All right, it's giving me that because I created that in an older version of uh, Substance Painter. It's telling me that if I save on this one, I'm not going to be able to open in the other, an older version. So here it is. And I'm, I was able to do this kind of stuff because I have all the stuff baked here, all of it. If I go to ID map, uh, for example, I'm going to see that it's right there. So and all of that stuff, if I go, for example, like uh, curvature, it's the same thing. So because I already uh, did all that. And if I go here, I'm going to go to the layers here. You can see uh, this stuff. Some of the masks that I did for this stuff. And some of them just look dirty. There you go. All right. So there you have it. All right. Use your own models, you know, or download from whatever you want to. Uh, a good practice is to actually to bring it from uh, 
uh, Quixel Bridge and do some tests and, you know, do your own bakes and stuff like that and uh, play with that. So hope you like it. Hope I hope this helps. And uh, all right. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.